right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a one board build. Now, if you remember, the other day I split the yellow hive, and when I split the yellow hive, I actually took the bees from the yellow hive and put them into the blue nuke. Well, now it's time to move those bees into their own hive, but I can't do that because I do not have a bottom board. Um, so today we're going to do a one board build, and we are going to build a screened bottom board. What you're going to need for this build is some hardware cloth, eighth inch, just a little bit, maybe uh, two foot by two foot square, should be more than enough, maybe a two foot by one foot square, and then one board. I'm using non-pressure treated two by six by eight, um, but overall this should be a quick build, an easy build, and it will give us a bottom board so that we can put a new hive together. So uh, let me get my measurements down and we'll get ready to go. Okay, so an eight frame hive body is 19 and 7 eighths by 16 and 3 quarter. Now if you're building a 10 frame, you may be using a little bit more than a third of the board, but I mean, it's minimal. So let's uh, let's get this thing chopped up. This board's a little bit twisted. I want to cut the good part out that I'm going to use. Uh, and instead of putting on my saw here, I'm just going to uh, get the skill saw. Safety glasses. Well, eyes anyways. All right, so. This is not a how-to video. I'm not showing you how to use your tools safely. I'm not the safest person in the world when I get in the shop. I expect that you will be. So follow all shop safety guidelines. Don't do what I do. Do as you know. Be safe. All right, so the first thing we need to do is cut our side pieces. Now, a box is 19 and 7 eighths inch long. Well, we need room for a landing board so let's go uh, 23 and 7 eighths. Let's give them a three inch landing board. Now we go to the table saw. A landing board is generally two inches wide. Well, two inches high. This board is only an inch and a half, so it's gonna work. We're just gonna have a more shallow landing board. But what we're going to do is we're gonna take off a, a few three quarter inch slices from this board. Let's go to the saw. Alright, so now let's put this thing together. Okay, so we know that this thing is 13 and 3 quarter inches wide. So there's our width. And we know that this thing is going to be 19 and 7 eighths. Let's set this box on top of it. 19 and 7 eighths. Looks like I've overshot the runway on this. We're going to cut that down by an inch and a half. Okay, well my first mistake. I made these boards too long. So the long boards need to be 22 and a quarter. All right, so now we want to cut the landing board to 12 and a quarter. Okay. Okay. So what I'm about to do here is dangerous. Follow shop safety guidelines. Do what I say. Don't do what I do. If you have a three inch quarter piece of ply. It violates the one board build, but I suggest you use it. I've got to turn this board into three quarter inches. And the only way for me to do that is to cut it this way, flip it over, and cut it this way. Very dangerous move on a table saw. Follow shop safety guidelines, please. So look at it this way. If I cut my fingers off, at least it's on video, the insurance company will know what happened.
All right, success. I do not recommend that you make that cut. I've been working with table saws for 30 years. If you're not comfortable on a table saw, don't even attempt that. Just get yourself a three-quarter inch piece of ply. All right, but now I want to get artistic, so I'm going to I'm going to go to the table saw one more time. Okay, now I want to get creative. Again, don't don't try this at home. Uh, use a piece of plywood, and you don't have to get fancy. I'm just doing this because this is what I like to do. I'm just going to put a small bevel on this. All right, so now it's time to put this thing together. So now we have to use our last three pieces of wood. We have two longs and a short. And what we have to do is we have to make a place for the screen to attach. So we're going to need this measurement, which is going to be, it appears to be 18 and a half. And I'll show you what we do with those boards in a second. Let me cut them. So there are two pieces that are 18 and a half. Now, looks like this one is going to be uh, nine and a quarter. Okay, so now let's take an inventory of what we have before we put this together. That way you make sure you have all of the pieces and the measurements. So your landing board is three quarter inch thick, 12 and a quarter inch long, and I believe, three and three quarter to four inches wide. Your side rails are going to be 22 and a half or 22 and three eighths. That's close enough. A little bit of slop doesn't matter. But these are your side rails. Now, again, these are as high as a side of a two by six by 12, so about an inch and a half, and they are also three quarter inches wide. The back is also inch and a half, three quarter, and it should be the width of your box. Uh, this one is going to be 13 and 3 quarters because I'm using 8 frame boxes. Now we're going to have to use the remaining boards for a place to actually staple the screen. So because these fit on the inside, these are of course 1 and a half inches by 3 quarter inches thick. And the length on these is 18 and a half. Now, I recommend that you measure this before you get going, or before you start putting it together. And, uh, you know, you're going to have to adjust back and forth a little bit, but uh, that should help you out. Now, the last board is going to be nine and a quarter. For me, if you're doing an eight frame, it's going to be nine and a quarter or thereabouts. You might have to shave it a little bit because the bottom line is we want a nice tight fit all the way around. Now, let's glue this thing together, then we'll get some screen and put in here. Do the back first. Of the, we're working on the inside. Keep your fingers out of the way of the nail or two. I've done that before. Don't nail your work to the bench. All right, so now we have that. Now what we need to do is pull our outer pieces on. Turn this on its side. I'm going to run a bead of glue down one side. And we're 
we're going to tack it in place. The same thing on the other side. Need a glue. Tack it in place. Now the last part. We'll glue the back of it. Put our board on there. And again, we're going to tack it in place. We're going to finish it up all the way around. Okay, so the only thing I have left to do is put the uh, screen bottom board in here. So I've got eighth inch hardware cloth. You can get this on Amazon. They'll mail it right to your door. Love Amazon. And we're going to need a piece of hardware cloth that is 12 inches wide. and about 19 inches long. All right, cutting this stuff is no fun, but it's gotta be done. Be beautiful. then. Now all we have to do is staple this down. All right, the last thing I have to do Set these, uh, set these staples. Well, there you go. Not a bad one board build. The screen bottom board actually only took about a third of a board, so theoretically you could build three of these things and save yourself some money. Overall, the build lasted about 30 minutes and the material list is quite small. So if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button below. If you have something to say, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so and ring the bell to be notified of my uh, new content. All that said, I want to thank you for watching and be happy. You have a great day and I'll see you next time.